I ask you, this is normal, is this what, what little boys are supposed to do? Uh, he told me this is normal, this is what little boys are supposed to do. Tearful testimony today from one of the seven men suing their former Pax Karate coach Craig Peoples. They were the first to file a civil suit under Georgia's Hidden Predator Act, and now, five years after filing their suit, they are finally getting their day in court. Our Heather Crawford has been following this story for years, and she's live tonight outside the Camden County Courthouse. She's been in the courtroom today. Heather, tell us more. Anthony, I have to tell you, it was difficult listening to the testimony here at the courthouse today. In fact, we saw several people in the courtroom, including several of the jurors, wipe away tears as they listened to two of the seven plaintiffs testify in graphic detail about the sexual abuse they say they endured at the hands of a man they trusted, their karate coach, Craig Peoples. Now, Peoples was here today in the courtroom listening to the testimony. Uh, jurors were shown pictures of the seven accusers when they were young boys around the age they say the sexual abuse started. Now, usually we do not identify victims of alleged abuse, but in this case, they all gave us their permission. Denny Stoll, one of the plaintiffs, testified about spending the night with Craig Peoples in hotels around the country during karate tournaments and even in people's own bed at his house. He described Peoples having a container in his closet full of pornographic magazines and videos. He says that Peoples would show the boys while giving them alcohol and sexually abusing them. Abuse, he says, no child should ever have to endure. I want the correct to know that I haven't forgot what he did to me. I want to know that I'll never forget what he did to me. I want him to be labeled as a child molester. I want him to go to jail. I want him to be held accountable for his actions. I don't want him to teach kids karate no more. I do not want him to be around kids and especially boys. Should it be around him? Now, Peoples has always denied the accusations. He's never been charged with a crime. And while the district attorney in Brunswick said that she did find sufficient evidence of child molestation, she was barred from bringing charges due to the statute of limitations. Now, Peoples' attorney today, an opening statement, says that uh, people bring lawsuits like this one for one of several reasons. He said money revenge and attention and coming up tonight on First Coast News at seven. I'm going to be talking with my colleague Ann Schindler, who was here for all of the testimony today about what stands out about this case, because while these allegations are criminal in nature, this is a civil trial. It's a civil case, so we're going to have a lot more for you coming up tonight on First Coast News at seven live in Camden County, Georgia. Heather Crawford, First Coast News on your side.